everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be towing with my new Tundra, my 24 foot enclosed car hauler. And this is not just a standard car hauler, this thing is seven feet tall inside. So, a lot bigger than a normal one. I am about six feet tall, and it's still a few feet above my head. Now, I'm not new to towing. I towed it with my Ram 2500. You know, I got a boat. As you saw before, I towed an ambulance across the state, probably maxing out the uh, weight this thing can pull, but it did fine. And I have a standard hitch, so it's going to be towing up, unloaded, and towing back loaded. I am picking up a Trans Am. So, it's like a 78 or 79 Trans Am with the 6.6 six in it. Doesn't run great, but I'm picking it up for a buddy. And we'll see how she does. Yesterday we had golf ball sized hail. I don't see a single dent in the truck. Impressive, let's see the roof. All right. No dents. Very good. So this is, to put it in retrospect on how big it is compared to my truck, it's a good bit, a good bit bigger. So I'm pulling the trailer, you can see it behind me. So far, I mean I'm only going 40, but honestly I don't even know there's a trailer back there. <laughs> I really don't. This, the truck just freaking accelerates. I'm, I am in tow plus. Um, helps. It only weighs 3,600 pounds empty, and the Trans Am I'm picking up is about 3,500 pounds. So, we're looking at just over 7,000. Should have no problems towing it. Max is 11. But it is big. Big. I am 16 miles from getting off the highway. I decided to slow down to 65, 220, 200 RPMs. Averaging 8.9 miles per gallon. Reset it when I got on the highway. Uh, this is not like combination from my previous uh, toes. But yeah, it is behind me. I did decide to slow down to 65 instead of 70 because it was just getting pushed around too much by this wind out here today. It is not forgiving. And even at 65, you know. I'm getting pushed around a little bit and it's kind of annoying. I would have liked to have put the weight distribution hitch on, but I don't think I'm going to get to to do it today. The weather's bad. I don't even want to deal with getting rained on and setting it up in the parking lot and doing all that stuff. So, uh, I'll be at the other, at my destination in about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and uh, see you there. We just finished loading up. Got a 1979 Trans Am. You want to see it? I just closed the trailer up. That thing's big. People fly down here. But I'm just going to walk around through here real quick. Ooh, ain't she pretty, huh? Got extra T tops. This is just a delivery for a friend of mine anyways but I did want to see how the Tundra did pulling it so I was like ah, let's do it <laughs> all right we're getting on the highway about half throttle she gets up there pretty good my dog it actually feels better with a load in the trailer. The way it's not pushing me all around. Pup making the seatbelt ding go off. You get Carista to turn that shit off. It is funny how with a load going 
70, I'm sitting around 2,000 RPM instead of 2,500. I had to downshift because I had to accelerate a little bit. Yeah. Now, wait. Is it going to shift into the next gear? Yeah. Maybe not. But it was just doing 2,000. Old girl doesn't even struggle. The one thing I am going to complain about is these mirrors do not work good for the enclosed trailer. I cannot see around it. So I made it home. Truck did great. This is my fuel economy. Towing three hours round trip. Nine miles a gallon. On my Ram 2500, towing this trailer, loaded or unloaded, 12 unloaded, 11 loaded. I'm getting nine loaded and the same unloaded, so it didn't really matter. But that's crazy, isn't it? I'm getting a lot more distance per my dollar with the Tundra. I don't really think the diesel is worth it anymore. I mean, it is nice having this stability on the highway, and I think I can manage that when I get my long bed. Well, not long bed, it's standard bed, but I have a short bed now, and I think that'll help stabilize it and getting some LT truck tires, some eight plies, will also help keep it stable on the highway. Um, but I have no reason to think that anyone really needs a three quarter ton anymore, unless you're pulling over 15,000 pounds. I mean, or over 10 long distances all the time. This truck can handle it though. It did great. Well, that's my conclusion. See you next time.